Hello, welcome to this video series on using Python for post-processing CFD results. My name is Saurabh. As we have seen earlier in the video series on computational fluid dynamics, I have used Python for plotting the results. And since we have not looked at the Python code in those videos, so that we could maintain focus on CFD, I guess it's a good idea to look at the details here. This will be a very short series containing only few videos directly diving into the essentials of visualizing CFD results. If you are interested in learning Python language itself, then you may find it useful to look for resources elsewhere. In this video, we will look at installation of the libraries and software required to get us going. So let's begin. Python is an interpreted language, which means that the code that we write is read line after line by the interpreter software and is executed on the computer on the fly. The code does not require any pre-compilation and therefore can be run on any computer having Python and necessary libraries installed. Many good libraries have been written by many generous people and have made it open source so that it can be used with Python. The plotting library which we will be using is matplotlib and it is dependent on numpy which is another amazing library for numerical computations and handling large numerical data. For writing the Python code, I will be using Spider as IDE. However, you are free to use any other IDE of your choice. Just make sure to get the other required libraries installed as well. To install Spider along with all the required libraries, you can just install the Anaconda distribution which is available for Windows, Mac and Linux. This will install all the required libraries and also other stuff which you may or may not like. If you want to install only the bare minimum required libraries, then you may like to install them separately. So to get everything working, you will need the latest version of Python which you can find on this website. For Windows, by just downloading the executable and installing it works just fine. I'm not sure about Mac and I suppose it should be simple enough. I will talk about Linux installation for Debian-like systems uh, like Ubuntu at the end. The next thing that you will need is to install NumPy which you can find here at www.numpy.org. You will also need matplotlib for plotting which is available at matplotlib.org. Here you can also see a gallery of possibilities along with the associated code. Just click on any of the image which you are interested in and you can see the underlying code for producing the plots. Installing IPython and IPython Notebook is also a good idea but is not mandatory for this tutorial. I like to use IPython Notebook as a scrapbook for trying out my ideas and for sharing my premature ideas with others. I will show you how to use Notebook in one of the upcoming videos. And finally you must install Spider so that it is easy to write your extraordinary Python codes. Before I forget, let me show you how to install all this on Ubuntu-like systems. Just start the terminal and type in sudo apt-get install followed by python ipython ipython notebook python numpy python matplotlib ipython notebook and spider and then press enter. This will download and install all required libraries and Python itself from the online repository, which may not be the latest but will suffice all our needs. I'll put all the links and commands in the description of this video. 
Let us run some tests and check the installation in next video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.